Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Alex and today we're going to talk about the Cartea Santos Carea in 18 karat yellow gold. The reason why I record this video is basically to give you guys that are looking for a solid gold watch on a bracelet a tip, basically, since I find the Cartier Santos Carrea in yellow gold a very, shouldn't say call it affordable because it's quite expensive, but it's a value proposition compared to other solid yellow gold watches on the market. To make this a bit easier, I'm going to compare it to the classic Rolex Day Day 36. And uh, tell you what I like basically about the Santos and what I think it offers more than the yellow gold day date. So this watch got really famous in the, well, cult movie, uh, Wall Street, starring Michael Douglas as the infamous or famous Gordon Gecko. So he wore this watch in the late 80s in yellow gold on the bracelet with the suit, with the tie, and he looked just like a million bucks, basically. The Cartier Santos, I made another video about this watch, and it was about what you should look for when you're buying your first Cartier Santos. That video will come in helpful if you're looking for one in yellow gold as well, so I'll leave it up here. What I like about this watch compared to the Rolex Day Date, since I've owned both in the past is that this watch it feels so much more dense and it breathes more quality overall when you hold them both in hands you can just feel like this the santos has so much more weight to it it feels like it doesn't necessarily weigh more because i just checked on my kitchen scale and um, this santos with links uh, to fit my 16.5 centimeter wrist uh, weighs around 138 grams and my friend's day date uh, size to his 17 centimeter wrist weighs exactly the same. So in terms of weight, I'd say they are around the same weight. Uh, <laughs> but when you hold them in hand, since the construction of the Santos is much more compact and uh, the day date has more hollow parts in the case, it really feels like a chunk of gold on your wrist. That's a fact that I really like about the Cartier Santos in yellow gold. Um, I mean, other than the stunning looks of it, I love this watch and I'm biased since I have one in two tone, but this one in, in solid yellow gold is just a stunner on the wrist. And when it's in unpolished conditions, like this particular example is, all the facets, the polished bezel, and the brushed surfaces of the bracelet, they just play fantastically in light. And it looks, when you see one on another person's wrist, it's just, you know, it catches your eye immediately. And even though the Day Date is one of my personal favorites from Rolex, I think that when you compare these two side by side, it's a landslide win, in my opinion, for, for the Santos. And uh, since this video is about the value proposition for the Santos uh, in terms of where the market is right now, I'd say a fair example, a fair condition example of the Santos starts around 10,000 euro. And I personally say stay away from the ones that are not in, you know, unpolished conditions or at least very close to unpolished conditions because you lose so much of the charm that is the Santos. And that is all these facets, the polished bezel, the screws, etc. So a good condition Santos in 18 karat yellow gold would start around 12, 13,000 euro and upwards depending on box and papers and stuff like that. Uh, so co in comparison to a uh, 36 millimeter day date with a five digit reference single quick set. They are around 15, 16 and upwards, depending on the dials. So, I mean, I really can't think of many more watch models in that price segment that features, you know, a solid 18 karat yellow gold bracelet and case. So, I mean, looking at it compared to other stuff, I still think this piece is 
uh, tremendously uh, undervalued at the market considering that a it's not easy to find one in good condition any longer b considering you know the build quality the looks of it and everything like that you still get so much more watch in some kind of sense compared to a day date because you get the exclusiveness because i mean you don't really see these ones on people's wrist that much uh, at least not in my neighborhood so i mean if you want something that stands out from the crowd then you should definitely go get yourself a Ormasif Santos and Ormasif stands for massive gold and this is a massive piece on the wrist that if you want a solid gold watch buy one of these you get the classic Cartier DNA you get the sporty looks in the Santos and you get a lot of gold for the buck all right guys so that's just a quick video about the yellow gold Cartier Santos and why I think it's undervalued and why I think you should definitely try to get one of these if you're in the market for a yellow gold watch on a bracelet and uh, I see these ones you know they have climbed aggressively over the last couple of years I mean two three years ago you could buy these for 5,000 euro and they were even a tough piece to sell because they were not appreciated by the general public or the watch nerds or whatever uh, and compared to the day date that has climbed also aggressively during the course of the last couple of years I still think considering the price point at around 12,000 euros and upwards to maybe 13 14 uh, it's still a good purchase uh, considering what you get so that's it guys Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. And if you loved it, please subscribe to the channel and see you next time.